because you see for that for top 40 Forbes company yes. to be uh, in debt you need to understand their background for example they don't take debt because they need it they take debt because it gives them advantage oh, I see that. yes mm -hmm. so there are companies the big companies use debt for tax advantages for market entry advantages for many other advantages in fact for some of them debt is a csr but for you you're not doing any csr you're not entering a new market you're not wavering any tax you're borrowing and even what you're borrowing is going to be taxed so when you don't understand the essence of debt you may say every company every large company has debt so i must also have debt but your debt is not an advantage it is a disadvantage to you because it makes you pay more interest and more taxes yes. simply because you have it in your system that's it yes as a, as a business journalist it's a very first time i've met a financial analyst yes. who's saying well that debt is not necessarily a good thing yes. let me then go to where the conversation begins yes. from um, yes. this morning in terms of where we are talking about today and if you look at essentially conversations around um the debt and the debt management strategies we're going to talk about um areas in which now for those of you who are already in debt then how do you therefore begin to manage this debt and that's why i want then dr clara to come in at this particular time and start talking to us about now good you've taken debt yes effective debt management strategies let's begin with investors you've taken debt yes maybe they never met you yeah. <laughs> to look at their businesses oh, yeah, yeah. and they will do not go into debt the different ways in which you can actually start to grow your business yeah. you're in debt and you want to manage this debt yes. are there effective strategies for a small business first yes that they're going to use today to start saying that that we are managing our debt effectively uh now i'll take you back mm -hmm. uh, sometimes debt is not something that you take intentionally take for instance uh you may be a partner with someone in a company yes and the person decides to withdraw and demand that you pay back their shares in in cash instantly otherwise the company is collapsing so what you do you will be forced to take debt to pay him off just to keep the company afloat and running now in that instance it was not your desire to take the debt you see so they, there are circumstances that make people get into debt it's not like everybody gets into debt because they want to and that is why there are measures that help you manage the debt yeah. and how to get out of That's those debts. Mm. Now, the most important thing that I've realized about uh, the different people I've dealt with, worked with in their journey of debt, it is very hard for someone who is in debt to actually sit down and put down the amount of debt that they owe. Because you see, debt is almost like a kind of... Uh, enslavement you don't want to really think about what you owe people you don't want to really think about how much it is but you want to keep paying and moving forward and most of what happens is that you borrow more to cover up for what is already accumulated yes. so the first step is for you to have a meeting with yourself and sit down and outline every debt that you have and the interest that is uh, upon that debt and number three the amount of time you think you can be able to complete the payment of each debt yes. that's the 